there you guys i'm teddy from bijuteo beading and in today's tutorial i'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful elegant super dual bracelet it's easy to make and i'm showing step by step so i'm sure you're gonna be able to make it even if you are a beginner if you're new here consider subscribing with the bell because sometimes i post matching jewelry to the ones that i have already done like I have a tutorial for earrings, you could check it out in description as well. And down there in description, you will also find a full list of materials, useful resources, and a link to the membership options that you could check out. Thank to all of you that like, share, and comment my videos. This is a great support. And now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay, guys, so what I'm using here for this video are three colors of super dual beads or you could use twin beads or similar type of two hole beads these are 11 o seed beads and these are four millimeter crystals here i'm using a toggle clasp and these are two jump rings and this is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches 0 0.15 millimeters you could use other beading thread of your choice and by the way, you could check description for a full list of materials, link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials, mainly on my Facebook and Instagram pages. And you could also follow the membership link where you will see what perks you get if you decide to become a member of this channel. This is size 10 beading needle, scissors, and these are pliers that I use to attach my clasp to my work okay and now i'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and i'll be back okay guys and i'm going to start my work by picking up a purple a white and a purple super jewel and then i will repeat this one more time purple white purple and then again purple white purple and i'm going to slide those down I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is to make a knot and I'm making my knot by making here a loop and going twice or even three times through the loop I've made and I pull and then what I want to do is to make one more knot and pull again okay this is what I have now now guys what i'm uh, what i want to do is go through this purple bead through its inner hole here and then what i want to do is go through its outer empty hole and in the other direction you see i'm going through its outer empty hole like this i was here and then zigzag back to here now what I want to do is to take one black super dual. I'm going to slide it down just like this. I'm going through one of its holes. And now what I want to do is to go through its other hole. Okay, like this. And then what I want to do is to go through the hole of this purple super dual through its outer empty hole as I did in my previous step okay then what I want to do guys is reach again the other part of my circle of beads here okay I want to reach again one of those purple beads I'm going through its inner hole through this one then what I do is that I go backwards through the its empty hole in this direction then I take one super do of this beautiful black color slide it down and then I go through its outer empty hole and through the outer empty hole of this super do here Okay, then what I want to do is go again like this and reposition my thread. I want to exit through 
this black super duo like this okay I'm exiting here out of this black super duo and I want to take one purple super duo then slide it down like this and then go through its empty hole and with this change directions you see how it looks I went through one of its holes and then through its other hole and this is what I have then I want to take the following sequence a white two purples a white and one purple okay I have this sequence and I go back through the same hole that I'm exiting out of I'm going back in circle through it then I'm sliding the whole thing down okay then what I want to do is go here through this purple you see through its inner hole you see like this and then I'm going through its outer empty hole and also through this black one here okay you see and through the hole of the black one Then again through the black and through the hole of the next purple through the outer hole of the next purple then backwards through this purple through its inner hole and I want to reach here this part Okay, now I'm here and I'll show you one more time how I'm making this element. I'm going here in this empty outer hole and I'm going to take just one black bead and I'm going to slide it down. Then what I want to do is go through its other hole and connect it to this purple one. And by the way, pull your work to make it stay in a nice shape. Then again, through all of those beads. And go back again through the purple and through the black. You see where I'm going. Now I will show you how I'm making this circle one more time. First, I need to take one purple. I'm sliding it down and I'm going through its other empty hole like this. Then I will take the same sequence as before a purple, a white, two purples, and a white. And now I'm going through this same hole back in circle. like this then again what I do is I go through the middle hole of this purple then I go through this hole and through the black one just like this and I want to again reposition my thread and exit from the other side of my element <laughs> Okay, and I'm here in a position where I will start adding my black bead then I will make this circle of beads like I did here and everything is the same and now I will make about 14 rows of these beautiful circles of beads you could do less or more whatever you like depending on the wrist on the wrist you're doing it for and I'll be back if you forget how I'm doing it just rewind the video from here on and repeat these steps until you have the whole length of your bracelet 
Okay, I'll be back in a while. Okay, guys, and now I'm here at this part and I have the whole desired length of my bracelet. And what I'm going to do is to take one black bead to finish this row. I'm sliding it down. I'm going through one of its holes, then through the other hole. And now you see my thread is almost over. And I want to cut it and add a new thread to continue with my bracelet. And how I do this? It's a simple process. I make a loop. I go once. Then I go second time through the loop I've made. I pull. Then I go through some beads in this direction and I cut my thread. Okay, now I will take a new thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I have a completely new thread on my needle, which is again about an arm span of thread. And what I'm going to do here is go in the center of this element with this thread and I'm going to make another knot here. Okay, I make here a loop with my new thread and I'm holding the tail thread with my thumb and I'm going twice through this loop I've made here and I pull. Then I go in the next hole And now what I want to do is go in this purple bead in this direction through its other outside hole. Then another step I want to do is to cut this tail thread here. Okay. And now guys I'm going to start adding my next row and I need a super duo go in the white super duo through its outer hole take another super duo and go in this direction through all of those beads Then I will repeat the same thing. I'm adding one black bead here. In my next step, I'm going through the next two purple, black, purple. So I'm going through these three purple, black, purple. You could do it in one movement or in two movement if it's easier for you one then again okay and continue these guys until the end of this row and i will show you what we do next okay guys and here i am where i'm adding my last black bead from this row okay then what I want to do is go through this black one, take three silver beads and go in this one like this. Then again I want to go in this direction. Go like this. And reach here the other part where I need to add one black bead like that then go in the white one then I want to do the same thing that I did in a while going in this direction then backwards through this one and through the outer hole of this one 
and add three silvers here. Then continue in this direction, adding black beads. Okay, one black and go here. Then through all of the three beads and it is absolutely the same thing that I did from the other side. Absolutely the same thing. Only add black beads and go through the three middle super dues. Okay, and I think you got the idea. Finish this row and meet me here at this side. Okay, see you in a while. And you see guys, when I continue beading, here I am at this part where I need to add my last black bead from this row. I take it, I go like this, and I want to do the additional step with the silver beads. That is why I'm going here in this one, taking the three silvers, go here, And I want to transfer to the other side of my work. And add the other three silvers that need to be added here. Okay, then I want to start a next row. And in order to start it, I want to go again through one of those black beads at the side of my work. Okay, I'm exiting here. You see where I am. Now, what I want to take is one silver bead, one bicon and one silver bead. Okay, this is what I have. Then I go through these two, through the next uh, super dual bead, okay? Then I take one silver bead and I go through the empty hole of the next super dual. A silver, a 4mm bicon and a silver go in the next empty outer hole of my next super dual. One silver go here. The same sequence, silver, 4mm bicon, silver, and go here. Okay guys, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this work and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and as I continue this, here I am at this side where I need to add my last two steps. Here is one silver and silver by silver. Okay, I take three beads. I go through two in this direction. Skip one of the beads and go back through three. Okay, this is what I have. Now take five beads and as I'm exiting from this bead here, I'm going back in circle through the same bead. Okay, this is where I'm going to attach my clasp. Now what I want to do is reinforce this joint here. Okay. 
then what I want to do is go in this direction and continue with my bracelet. Okay, I'm going through this super duo here. And I will do the same thing, guys. Okay, I take the same sequence and go through this super duo. One silver, go in the next super duo. I take the same sequence and I will continue guys absolutely the same way until the end of this side of my bracelet and I'll meet you here. Okay guys and here I am at my last part where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. Okay, And I'm exiting here at this silver part and I'm going to do the same thing like I did from the other side. I take three seed beads, go through two in this direction like this. Then skip the, the next one when I go back and go through three beads. Okay. I take five beads and as I'm exiting from this middle of the three beads that I added in my previous step, I go back through it like this and I want to reinforce this part one more time. Then I want to go through some beads and find a place to make a knot. Let's say I'm making my knot here at the angle and I make it by making here a loop. Then I go once and I go second time through the loop I've made and then I pull. After that I go through some beads in this direction. I could repeat my knot several times but when I make my last knot, I go through one or two beads in this direction and then cut my thread. Okay, and now I'm going to show you how to put your clasp. Okay, I take my jump ring here. I open this one up. I put it here at this loop of beads that I did in my previous steps. And I put here the clasp and now what I do is that I squeeze back and my clasp is attached from this side and I will repeat it from the other side. Okay guys and as I repeated the same process from this side my easy super duo bracelet is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe with the bell if you still haven't because sometimes I have matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done and here I have matching earrings so probably you would want to make a set. Thank you so much for watching. Thank to all of you that like, share and comment. This is a great support. You could check my Facebook and Instagram pages and share there your beautiful creations that you did following my tutorials. Click to check the earrings tutorials and bye bye from me.